Hello, turd throwers, and welcome to another Mad Bad Gamer commentary. We're gonna be running a game from replay against again the Protoss player, Evo Prakus, on uh, Team Evolution. Apparently, Evo Prakus, Evo being the team. He's on a team! No, not a professional team. He has a diamond! As opposed to the master of last game, he's a fairly high-ranked diamond, and man, look at these games played! Jesus, he's got literally like five times the games played that I do. On what? Neo Planet S again? Zerg versus Protoss again? What is this? Days of the Devils. Up here on our top right, we have the red Protoss, Evo Prakus. And in the bottom left, our blue Zerg, the Mad Bag. I should be on Team YouTube or something like that. I think that'd be a good idea. If it was a uh, YouTube Mad Bag. I don't know. I've been thinking about changing my name recently. Uh, there's there's a lot of uh, changes I want to make to my channel to uh, spiffy it up. And uh, you know, I don't know. Get get thumbnails for my videos. Uh, I don't know, there's a few things I want to do. I'm not going to go through all of them, because some of them might be spoilers. Maybe it'll be surprising stuff. I thought I'll probably change my name, though, too. Uh, Mad Bag's the name I've used for a really long time. I'm thinking something more like uh, Mad Guru. Maybe even like Mad Lion. Just because of my, my main, my main G-beard. I don't know. These are thoughts, though, that have crossed my mind. And so I have spat them out onto the pavement in front of you. Do with them what you will. A Zerg vs. Protoss, same map, same spawn locations as the last ZVP I brought you. Not same build. He's already getting a forge. So he has already deviated from the gateway opening that we saw uh, Mr. Master do in the last video I uploaded. Got a uh, sneaky little drone. He's early, but he's going to go set behind some minerals. The pool is in my base. Oh, but look at the big brains on Prakus. He's going to throw it on a pylon first. And check this out. He comes over. He's just like, oh, look, a spawning pool. It's not done yet. He's not going to be able to do anything to my pylon for a minute. Now, if he wanted, he could even bring his probe down here and begin blocking and cancel that pylon. So that would have disallowed me from doing my sneaky move. It did anyway, but uh, he would have saved a lot of money. Looks like I'm going to throw the, the natural down anyway. Oh, my God. This, uh, this doesn't look as hopeful as, as I might hope for. Uh, we've got some, some dueling photon cannons right down at the base of my ramp. I, I am watching this, which, by the way, is dangerous. That, that overlord's in a, in a kind of bad spot. Uh, spine crawler coming up. Six zerglings coming up. I don't have the queen yet. These zerglings might be a mistake. They're not early enough to do anything. Oh, no! Overlord! Oh, no, and he's on hold position! What am I doing? I did kill the probe off. Lost a couple lings doing it, though. I guess in that regard, it's good that I built so many lings. And he's now getting the gateway up. He's sending in another probe just to uh, continue. It looks like he was going to try to do a, a cannon creep on me. That's really odd. That doesn't It doesn't work real well against Zerg, just because you can't build cannons in on the uh, creep any. So, like, here and here are the closest he could get them. And that's going to reach probably these mineral patches and stop them from mining. Ah, uh, but as is, this is not going to do much. I like how he's switching out of it immediately. He goes straight to the expansion. He's chrono boosting probes. I'm going to spot the gas coming down. Can't get out of my base yet, though. I do have a queen. I like how I'm choosing the creep. I went straight to spreading creep instead of uh, injecting larva. I don't really have the cash for it anyway. The uh, far out natural is up. Producing a queen. So we have a wonky game on our hands here. Cybercore is going to go out on the front. Prakus is going to keep guard via cannons. I'm going to go ahead and get the gas. A lot of times if you're locked into your base and you really can't get the uh, economy into minerals that you want, you really can't just sit there and spam drones, you should take advantage of what you can use. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some gas. Go ahead and uh, use some of the resource that's available to me, given that I'm pretty well saturated on minerals anyway. This is actually going to take me down on mineral saturation. Oh, the root! The root! It was just off. 
just in a bad place. It looks like the queen is just out of vision, so she can spit her damage until she crosses this little line right here. That needs to be uprooted, though. There we go. I've caught on finally. And this guy is all of a sudden in a very dangerous position. Uh, oh, yes! The zealot gets trapped between the gateway and the minerals. That is, that is beautiful. He's got the money. He could totally be producing a stalker right now, and he should be. He's a little bit too worried about the cannon still. I am going to finally break him down, and, and I've got the natural going a little bit, but wow, has this held me off. Uh, if we look at the food count, it is in my favor on the workers, but just by a little bit. This is something he could catch up to me in chrono boosts with uh, if I stop droning to make any combat units in the near future. And I'm going to go ahead and take that third as soon as I can. I do, I think... No, I don't. I do not know that he's taken an expansion. And this overlord is just... He's just totally chill. He doesn't mind at all that crazy stuff's going on all over the map. Three more gateways. A four... Oh, okay. I was going to say. Four gate follow-up. That's not very many gates. He's getting a pylon out, too. I'm not scouting around with the lings yet, so... It looks like he could put on some gateway pressure. I've got to say that if you do more damage uh, to a zerg than just killing the natural... And, and even if you do that much, if you kill the natural with cannons... Uh, great follow-up is just gateway pressure. A lot of times, they just... They, they can't... Uh, both defend a solid gateway timing and try to step into the macro game or try to catch back up for their disadvantage at the same time. Oh, I've found the pylon. At least it's it's on my it's on my mini map. Let's see how uh let's see how long it takes me to get over here and adjust. And I'm finally moving the overlord. I like to see that. Although uh it is far too late now. Oh, maybe not. Well, he does have research. Jesus. Research finished before his first stalker. That that seems very odd. I did poke up in the front. I saw a lot of gateways. I didn't see that his gateway timing was just now happening, though. I guess I do see it over here. I do see that four just spinning away. And he's got some contingency pylons up, though. This does not look pretty. Matter of fact, he's got a lot of contingency pylons up. Uh, I, th I think I see all of them, but just that he has that many. That's not good. Failsafe countermeasures are in... Oh, Prakas. He's got his top men on this one. Oh, he's killing some Zerglings. The army count shows a pretty big deficit in my department. And uh, looks like I'm just going to run. Uh, run all the drones. I think I like that. I think I like that move. Keep the drones alive. If I have to lose the base, then that really sucks. But uh, keeping the drones alive is definitely preferable to losing everything. My god, the Zealot and Sentry count. It's actually not huge. But it's just the right amount. I am getting roaches. I'm getting nine roaches. Nine roaches. 20 zerglings on the back end. I'm not actually far off having zergling speed. If if I can get a couple things together here, all of a sudden this could turn out really nice. Oh, the zerglings are a little bit too premature. He's going to trap some roaches over there, but his zealots are over here. Those are roaches on sentries. I'll take that engagement. And I'm keeping my roaches away from his zealots decently. Nice! The spore crawler I built because I was scared shitless of DTs is actually going to play a role. Oh my god, is it going to... It killed the mothership! That is beautiful! I'm going to kill one of these pylons, but he has far too many contingency pylons. It looks like I did run with those roaches, but he's still... He's got contingency pylons all over, and he took out the third base. The third base is down. I'm held back to two. However, that makes us even, and you're not always behind if you're even on bases as a Zerg against a Protoss. Um, you, you always want to be ahead of base. That's where you feel the most comfortable. But there are situations where it's not necessarily terrible for your uh, Protoss opponent to have the same number of bases as you. I do have less drones, though, and that that really makes it nasty. The army count is slightly in my favor. If I could get something done with this army right now, he's actually, he's reinforcing on the battlefield. That's not a good idea right now. Uh, he is low on momentum, and you can't just turn the tides of momentum as Protoss. Momentum goes very slowly, whereas for Zerg, momentum snaps out in huge explosions. Oh, I like this move. I am getting a uh, third. I'm actually getting a third and a fourth at the same time. Since I lost the third, uh, maybe I can still hit my fourth timing just by having them come up together. And I have a lot of roaches. I don't know. This could potentially look a little nasty. He's only got six stalkers. I have 11 roaches. Roaches trade almost one-on-one -on -one with a stalker. They, until they get the upgrade, though, they don't move as fast. Uh, and they, they trade a little bit inefficiently. Uh, with the support of the other Protoss units, they can become extremely efficient. Oh, what's this? 
I'm gonna look for space to pick off the cyber core. I'm taking a lot of damage, but I haven't taken any roach losses yet. I'm gonna get that cyber core easy. He does not have another down yet, but he does have a robotics facility and he is producing immortals, as well as the Twilight Council, which I assume is gonna be going for Blink with this stalker count that I'm seeing now. Of course, I haven't seen any of this. His base is still dark to me. Uh, he's actually getting a second robotics facility too. Ooh, abusive. He sees the roaches from me. He wants to kill him some roaches. The bases are up. We see some queens popping out. Ah, uh, I don't see. Yeah, this scares me. I have very few drones. Those static defenses, I think, are a little uh, misappropriated. I really need more drones. I'm using my, uh, well, no, I'm not. I was just getting ready to say I was using my gas well, but I was looking at the Protoss' gas. Of course the Protoss is using his gas well. He's Protoss. I am not, though. I've got a lot of gas built up. I should be taking these guys off gas. It looks like I didn't quite realize that I was just under saturation. Uh, however, some production cycles are hitting, and I'm catching up. Uh, I do have three, even four bases available. If I can get a higher worker count than he has, I'll be in a nice spot economically. Oh, wow. My roach has even got to pick off a gateway. He's kind of in a weird spot. This is kind of a bad... A bad Sim City up here. Uh, he can't sit right behind his structures and pick me off. He's got to walk around the outside, and it looks like I'm gonna split. Now that I've gotten quite a bit of damage done, not exactly sure what I plan on doing. Oh wow! I'm gonna counterattack. Roaches on the bottom side, or I'm sorry, Zerglings on the bottom side. Roaches on the top. Here Procus is stuck in the middle with Doom. The Immortals are getting low. That is. Oh, I didn't actually kill any of them. You know, I, that wasn't that wasn't a good trade. If I could have killed these three immortals, that trade would have totally been worth it. Honestly, in the overall loss, he is behind me. Um, but I've had a slightly weaker economy than him, so I need to take favorable engagements. Oh my. Oh my. Double pumping Colossi already. The economy's been wonky. Uh, I am, I'm still not even caught up with him yet. I do have some guys in place, though, to deny his expansions. If he tries, he's not even thinking about expanding, though. He's thinking about pushing. I would really love to be able to get in there and snipe off some of those immortals. I hate that those survived. That is hugely detrimental. Oh, uh, uh, they were moving like an, a counterattack might have been on my mind. But it uh, looks like it wasn't so. The worker count is slowly equalate, e uh, <laughs> equalizing. Trying to merge a couple words in my mouth. They did a fusion dance. Oh, man. My fourth. He's taken out a third. Now he's going to deny the fourth. Oh, this is terrible. There's not really much I can do. This army is larger than mine. 3,200 and 1,000 gas to 28 and 400 gas. He's even going to get the queen. It looked like the drones got out. Yeah, they'll probably get away and survive. Again, Mr. Contingency Pylon over here. Double pumping. Oh, links are in the base. Wow, how did this happen? Just a couple lings running right in. It's only like three or four. That would have been a few more lings. God, that could have been hugely detrimental to him. And the worker count is even. I would even give myself a little edge, and I'm sure the income tab will agree. Ha <laughs> Well, let's wait until these workers get back to uh, working to make the comparison. Uh, but I'm, I'm mining across three bases, so I've actually got a couple more workers than him. My economy for the first time, uh, pretty much all game. There was a short period in the beginning, but... Since that cannon shenaniganery, uh, my economy is in a better position than his. However, my army, oof, it's got a big deficit. Oh, this is not good. He's sitting a solid 1,500. Oh, oh, but the transition. The transition cometh, and it is the nastiness of the transition. I've had that gas built up for a while because my economy was a little off kilter. It was tilted, and I didn't quite... Uh, respond the way I should have. I didn't I didn't switch off of gas income. I was getting some pretty solid gas income and I wasn't getting enough mineral income. Well now, that's finally going to uh, allow me to do something nasty. Oh, does he see it? He sure does. He sees the mutalisks fly right over and I'm going to dive in the other side while we're at it. This could be beautiful. Oh, the mutalisks go into the main right when all of his probes clump up. The probe count is going to fall. It looks like your abusive tech was not fast enough, sir. You gotta get your colossi in my face before the mutas can get in yours. It's so by the time the mutas... Oh, Artosis! He sold that pylon to Prakus, and now Prakus It's very sorry for the purchase. Are they even gonna get the robotics facility? Oh my god, I even take out a robo-facility. 
I don't think I lost a Muta. He's just now getting blink. Does that mean he got charge? No. Did he? No, he doesn't have charge. Uh, he must have got that Twilight Council just so he could get plus two. Ooh, I like to see that there's a couple changelings even sitting in his base. Watching things. Well, now I definitely have an advantage. I have a couple advantages. I've got a uh, mobility advantage. He still technically has an army advantage in a straight engagement. Let's see this stalker count. It's nine. In a straight engagement, he can't kill me. Nine stalkers can't beat 14, I guess. Now I, I lose one. I thought I had 15 mutalisks, but it's down to 14. Oh, and I've got a roach round popping off. But, oof, you know what? I've been seeing this Colossi count. That is five Colossi. The roaches really don't matter. Does he have any sentries? Does he even have, like, two? Uh, he doesn't have any sentries. That's dangerous. He can't have a Protoss army, uh, Colossi involved, and not have sentries. I'm keeping him pinned perfectly, though. He knows he's got a morph in. Nothing but stalkers. And look, I'm just even going to fight his stalkers anytime I can fight just a couple of them at once. I'm going to fight him and kill him. He did get up to 16. That, I think, can take out my mutilist count. Uh, especially since he will so one-sidedly smash me on the ground. Our army counts are even, but I actually like his better. He's got a harder counter to my ground forces. And, uh, wow, this is kind of interesting. I'm throwing bases out, expecting the uh, base trade. That's really interesting, actually. Uh, he's got the harder counter to my ground. I, I think his, uh, his anti-ground works better than anything of mine, really. And, uh, and I think he's got enough to fend off my air advantage. It looks like he doesn't care about his main. He's going to go for it. He's relinquished to one base. He is all in. What are my roaches doing? Am I just going to go? I'm just going to go for the base trade, aren't I? Yeah, I'm staying in the base. I'm taking out pylons. He's already supply blocked, so he can't, he can't warp anything else in. And I'm going to try to Maynard all my drones out before it's too late. Ah, I missed a lot of them. I did get some of them out. And it looks like I might have even taken some to some of these other bases. He's going to keep his forces together, but the base trade is on. And I've got to say, uh, his base is condensed into a very small area. And my base is spread out a number of ways. I don't... He didn't really do any damage there. He made me run from my main. He killed a lot of workers. Uh, my worker count, I guess it was already up. It's down to 43 now, but he has even fewer workers than that. 43 workers is A-OK -okay with me. He's going to try to trap my army, though. If he could still kill off my whole army and then keep his bases alive, he has enough money to get a nexus down. If his army has an advantage, he might still be able to do something nasty here. Looks like my mutalisks are pretty quickly dismantling the main, though. He's going to split his army up. Ooh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. The stalkers can take the mutalisks out, so that means they could defend his base. And this is still a lot of colossi against my purely roach army. I guess there are some zerglings. I don't know what they're doing, though. They're on vacation or something. Oh, oh, we have mutalisks to the top, roaches to the bottom. The stalkers are going to try to make it right to the middle. Oh, oh, some roaches on stalkers. That's so good for me. That's going to try to ensure that this mute account, which is getting, well, I was going to say it's getting pretty low, but, uh, it's actually not. It actually just got some bolstering. It's up to 29. He doesn't have the stalker count. Oh, and his army evaporates. All my roach is gone. That's the advantage I was talking about on the ground. Even in that short time where I was smashing his army overall, his army still killed everything I had on the ground. And there we go. He leaves the game. Hell of a match, if I do say so myself. And that's, uh, that's some of what I was talking about with just the, the playground the Mutalisks open up. It just allows Zerg to do a lot of stuff where you can't normally deal with the Protoss army. Maybe you can step around it. Maybe you can get damage done to his base without taking damage from his army. Keep him from setting up the direct engagement. And uh, and things can get pretty. I feel like the beginning of that was, was pretty rocky. Just that he got those cannons off. Uh, that could have been really nasty for me. I just held it together, though. Had just the right crisis management. And then got into the playground of the Mutalisk. All went downhill for him from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Please stay tuned for more.